Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another session for our use case scenario for requirement fulfillment which we use in our day to day development activities. If you are new to the channel, please like and share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. Okay, so we will check what is our use case. So we have to hide fields from personalized list in ServiceNow. Okay, so what is our use case? We have to hide priority field from personalized list under incident list view for non-admin users. Okay, so let's move further in my personal developer instance and so how we can implement this use case. So let's move further. As you can see, our personal developer instance is loaded here and let's move further and try to implement our use case for how to hide fields from personalized list in service now. So we will try to hide one of the field in incident list for non-admin users. Okay, so let us show you how we can do that. So let me try to open our incident list first. And for this use case implementation, we will be using ACL. Okay, so our list is uh, this showing here okay so this is admin user and uh, as an admin user I will see the priority field is already added here okay from this personalized list columns but in incident list for non admin users you will get priority hidden from this uh, personalized list columns okay so let me show you how we can do that first let me try to remove this priority from left uh, here okay so for creating ACL what we have to do is like we have to do a elevate role we have to click on security admin checkbox as you can see it is written grant modification access to high security settings allow user to modify the access control list so we have to create access control for that, I will click on Elevate Role Security Admin as checked. Okay, now let me open a incident record for just uh, configuration creation for ACL. So here is security rules. Okay, there are many ACL which is written out of the box but uh, we will create a new ACL for this so this is a ACL which we will be written, writing here ok so we will just uh, create a type as record operation as listed it, uh, sorry add to list so I have selected this add to list here and now what I will do is like I will select here incident table incident dot priority so I will provide add to list access only to admin users so this priority field will be visible on to personalized list columns only for admin users it will not be visible for different users Let's try to save this ACL. Okay, so this, this ACL is created and I am the admin users. So the impact will not show to me. Impact will be shown who would be the non admin users. So let us try. You will see the priority field will be visible to me priority ok now let us try to impersonate first let me remove this from configure 
list layout so let me remove the priority field from list layout first okay and save this now we will impersonate one of the non admin users so let me click on some of the user so suppose i am picking this user and we will check whether this is uh, this will be shown to this user or not we will see incident dot list here okay so this is our incident list and no record is created for this user okay so now let's try to check on personal personalize personalized columns so we will not be able to find priority here see this is the p we are not getting parent parent dot incident probable cause problem but we are not able to find priority field here because we have hidden it for non admin users okay so this is all about this use case so this will be required for some of the clients for security purpose okay please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it